Hello friends, today we're going to be watching MILF Manor, but I'm not by myself this time. I've brought some friends along. Yeah. Friends, he says. He's paid us to be here. I mean, friends is a bit of a stretch. Drink if you find a MILF. Is that the game or not? Yeah, one, one pint. Okay, I think we're just going to get into it. My name is April Jane and I am in my 50s. I'm a vintage rare find. I don't think any of my sons realize that I have an extremely high libido. Her nostrils look like an alien head. <laughs> right! She's 59! Give the woman some credit! It does look like an upside down space of us to be fair. Is that too much saying I have an extremely high libido? Should I just have said high libido? What is that voice? <laughs> always watching you, Wazowski. I'm always Fucking. How would you feel if your mom went on this show? I'd be angry. Kill myself. It'd be mortifying. I feel like I'd, I'd champion it on. I feel like I'd like be like, yeah, go for it, love. I don't mind. What? And shag blokes your age? Get them teeth whitening adverts. It's a bit different if it's set in like Tyneside instead of like Studio <laughs> City in California. You know, isn't it? Kind of a different vibe if it's just your mum and like four blokes from the pub. Is the idea of the show it? It's young blokes. There's there's a twist. That comes like about 10 minutes in that is going to blow your fucking mind. My name is Paula. I am originally from Mexico City, but right now I live in Miami in a paradise. That doesn't look like a young man. She looks like Cody Ko's girlfriend a little bit. They're married now, actually. Take my wife's name out your mouth. Cody Ko when he watches this video, which he definitely will do. He's a big fan of the channel, mate. Whoever's editing this, can you can you face swap George Clarkie with Will Smith there when he did that bit? <laughs> no need, I can get the makeup if you want. No, that's not. It. <laughs> oh, George! That's getting left in. I'm not necessarily necessarily a competitive person, but I'm confident and she doesn't have anything on me. Oh, so they, so wait, they're competing for the young men? Mate, they're competing for the, 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 uh, the hottest young man. I'm not going to give it away, but you'll see what happens. But yeah, there's like loads of drama because they're all fucking trying to out mill for Trevor. 23 years old. My husband passed away in a car accident. Oh. Ah, no, sorry. Well, I hope you all feel awful now. Did Alex laugh at that? That's horrible. Alex, you are a sick person. I was caught off guard. I didn't You're a sick little man. Go to hell. Do you react like that whenever you get told someone's died? It's not funny. It's not. I had no idea you were going to say they were dead. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just when it's car crashes. Harry Potter reference, isn't it? Is it? A car crash. <laughs> a car crash. Killed this milk's <laughs> wife. <laughs> husband. <laughs> I've never been by myself. Like in kindergarten, I, I had boyfriends. Like I've always been around someone special. I was fucking in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's like she's in the room. I actually lost my virginity at four years old. <laughs> She's a Scottish lass, is she? What Scottish film are you even speaking to? My name is So Young. You're not so young! <laughs> she's called So Young, but it's 50. So Young, you're not young. You're quite old. <laughs> oh, she's going against it, then, isn't she? It's meant to be MILFs. Watch as six people try and get the same joke in. <laughs> God, you're big. She's not young. Oh, I got her first. She's middle aged. Do you get it? Because it's so young. See, if she died, would someone say, oh, she was so young? <laughs> oh, she was. Imagine you were like, oh, I'm dating someone. And they go, oh, here. You go, she's so young. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, whoa, I don't know. I don't know about that, mate. I'm so young and I'm so. Is she so what? I don't know. It, just, it bleeped it out. Hard. <laughs> I'm so young and I'm so. Wet. Rad. Or oh, wet. Rad. Ah. <laughs> bleeping out rad. Why are they bleeping out wet? I'm so curious. I reckon the comment section will get this because... It's wet. It's a one syllable word. It's wet. Why is it bleeping? Why do you bleep out wet? She probably just said like, I'm so young and I'm so or something. Perfect England. That's not a grammatical sentence though, is it? <laughs> oh, no. Did you have to drop the C-bomb? It had to be like a strong word. Maybe she said like a really racial slur. My second husband was younger. All my boyfriends were young. Always 10 years younger. I could have sex, but I can't kiss anybody because that's disgusting. What? 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 I feel like I just had a seizure. You just gave so much information. I don't understand any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's always dated people 10 years younger than her. What about if she was 20? Well, mate, she has to stick to it. She's consistent. Rules are rules, mate. Who is she dating in kindergarten? The babies? I don't know. Baby? Oh, come. Yeah, well, what, that, what answer do you want from that? My name is April. I'm 43 years old. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I married my high school sweetheart. Another April. April W. Came to win. No else here, mate. Oh, no, you guys look so pretty. I'm April. Oh. April, I'm April. Let's do April. We can relate to this because we've got two Arthurs here. That is perfect. Should we recreate it? You two speak to each other. I'm Arthur. I'm also called. Arthur. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's kind of turning me on. I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck? Given we're in their like target age range, would any of you guys date someone who was like mid forties, mid fifties? Yes, absolutely. I have. You have. Wait, Lewis, hang on. You're a mum. <laughs> yes. Well done. You got me. This is a good joke. It's good fun. My name is Charlene. I'm from Jersey, but currently I live in Los Angeles. Hollywood. She's fit, to be fair. You think she's fit, Alex? She's not bad looking. Yeah, I'd have her. You'd have her? That one, please. Yeah, I'll have that one. <laughs> If you're like me, if you're like me, mate, you just get to pick at will. When Cam said that we were watching MILF Manor, I did expect at least some of them to be attractive. This is very disappointing so far. Wow. Fucking hell. What are your standards? Fucking hell, Arthur. Yeah, mid mid manner, more like. <laughs> mid manner. So I'm wearing two necklaces today. The first one is an infinity necklace that my daughter Ashley got for me. Don't care. She's my oldest daughter. She would be 28 right now. She just had a birthday, but she passed away when she was oh, 27. <laughs> Oh, Lewis. Oh, shut up. Lewis! You also <laughs> Don't care. Just say it right in her face as she's grieving about her lost child. Fairly valid point. Is she still a MILF if she's not a mother anymore? <laughs> no. Well, you're not. Like, 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 logistically, logistically, you're not. She's just an ilf. An ilf. Just, I like to fuck. Or a wilf. Just, just a woman. Losing her was by far the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Oh, and don't cry. Don't it. cry. Now I feel worse. Oh, don't it. feel sad about your dead kid. <sighs> I am doing this for Ashley in a lot of ways. And now I'm shagging people her age. Become a MILF, mum. <laughs> Become a MILF. I'm Kelly, I'm 50 years old, and my alter ego is Disco Mommy. Disco Mommy loves house music. In Disco Mommy, she's really spontaneous. She's just fun. Hey guys, she can have a go on my disco stick. <laughs> Whoa, that Filter, go back. That filter was working overtime. Do we need a shot? Kelly has a big personality. That's what you call them. I have six amazing kids. I feel like I've been judged by having multiple kids from not having the same dad. Like, if from the same guy, I'm like, no. Why would I have six kids from the same guy? Hello? Yep. Why would you do that? That is ridiculous. Why is she worded that like Andrew Tate would word it? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I have one mother when I could have six mothers? <laughs> Guys, it's like Andrew Tate's in the room with us. Where's Andrew Tate from in your world? <laughs> some like 1950s actor. Hey, I gotta think outside the box. I gotta have some mothers, you know, hey. Like her daughter's wedding will be like Mamma Mia trying to guess the dad. What are the things that you can teach them? I don't know if I can say that on TV. <laughs> Not how to stay. I don't know what you can, if you can say it on TV. Is it illegal? What was she about to teach them? <laughs> She's gonna join them some sort of clan together. <laughs> Nuclear fusion. How to build a bomb? from home. Bono alert. Kelly is the most risque of all the moms with no shame whatsoever. Her skull is about to pop out of her head. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! It's like she's a froob and someone's grabbed the bottom. <laughs> she looks like a vacuum packed sex doll. That is so specific. Speaking from experience? Well, I've just moved house, haven't I? <laughs> I would know. <laughs> I already feel I'm the woman that will get the least attention. Oh, she's playing a sympathy card. Pick me. Grow up and get off this show. Is it because I thought I died? Did you you guys know my daughter died? <laughs> I'm here for you. She probably was very hot when she was younger. By the way, she seems like she was very hot when she was younger. Is that not like so passive aggressive? She's probably the best looking one now. It's basically just reverse potential. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Ronaldo of MILFs. The Ronaldo of MILFs. Used to be good. Now playing in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I feel like you do something She's like with human resources. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? That was so high pitched. What the fuck? Was that a fucking chipmunk? By the way, I have seen what happens here. This twist, I was like, this just makes it so good. It's gonna blow your mind. Arthur, do you wanna fucking die? <laughs> it's gonna blow your socks off. So curious as to what I could find here. I mean, this is it. All of my moments have led me to this one. And what was it? Anyway, including, no, including Alex. the moment. Well, the death of her daughter. No, not the, not the On the one hand, she died and it sucked. But on the plus side. She basically, it was all worth it. That, <laughs> it was all worth it just to see their shadows. Do you think there's any chance of any of these guys using the word res at any point? I hope so, if we're lucky. But I'd have dropped some like fucking like milf res or some shit. <laughs> It's gonna go hard. What's going on? Wait, there are moms? <laughs> oh. That's my mom right there. No! Wait, they're their moms! What? Wait, it's their own mom! It's their own moms! Oh my word! What? So they're all just getting off with other mums in front of their own mum? No, 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 they're getting off with their own mums. This show is fucking fantastic! Initially I thought he just saw the woman who went, That's my mum, shotgun. That's my mom right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, there's like a big drunken night, and they actually, you actually like sleep with your own mum. What happens there? Sorry, if that's a thing that might happen when you're drunk, Alex, that is a you problem, mate. <laughs> you, we just get a little bit tipsy at Christmas. Oh God, slept with granddad again. Oh guys, little quirky thought. What if you get drunk and actually <laughs> sleep with your mum? What happens then? <laughs> what should I do? I had too many shandies at Christmas and accidentally fingered my nan. It just doesn't happen <laughs> like that, Alex. <laughs> it's vile. Oh, dear. It's a reasonable question when I ask. No, no it's not a reasonable it's question. question. It's not. That's you cannot defend that question. By the way, that twist is like fucking insane. How good is it? I built it up and it's actually... Yeah. It's brilliant. It's actually amazing. That's great. That is insane. He wants to fuck his own mum. I'm like completely shocked. I see my son back there and it's like, who are all these guys? She's like, oh, what are you doing this week, son? She's like, oh, I'm going on a show where I date people my age. And then she goes, oh, no way, I'm going on a show where I date people my age. But surely, in your own house. Nah, they will have signed some sort of secrecy thing and been like, you can't tell anyone, surely. Arthur, have you ever, have you ever imagined the idea that television might not be real? What, you think people would do that? If anyone would know about television, it's Arthur. <laughs> you inherited this last name. Because your surname is television. TV. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. I knew my son Gabriel was going to be in Mexico with me. I thought he was going to be on a separate dating retreat. Yes, surely, of course you did. The fact that they haven't pieced it together isn't that surprising. Like, <laughs> their IQs do sound like they match their ages. What if, right, you're all talking, you know, everybody's rating the mums and you end up with, like, the person who has the least rated mum in terms of hotness by the group? How would you feel about that? Wouldn't, wouldn't care that much, Alex. What? Or would you be there, like, my mum is the hottest in this group? <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if everybody, what if my mom's a milf? If, <laughs> what if you, right, you look at her and tell me you wouldn't fuck my mom? <laughs> I promise, last Christmas, I shagged the shit out of her. It was great. <laughs> I only needed two pints to get that done. <laughs> Would you feel ashamed if your son didn't get picked? Start advertising him to the other parents. <laughs> Son, all the other mothers have said you've got El Riz. Oh. But whenever I bring a woman home, it's all up to my mom whether I'm dating her or not. Yes! Wait, your mom gets to choose who you sleep with? What the fuck? Can you imagine that? But imagine your mom going, Oh yes, oh yes, I, I'm so glad I get to pick up my son Fox! Oh my god. I don't know if she'd be that excited. She'd probably just go, yeah, right then. <laughs> <laughs> she would go, yeah, can I, can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> These women are significantly older women, uh, so it's pretty alarming. Not in a bad way. They are kind of beautiful. <laughs> you, you're obviously going to be speaking to the people your age. At some point, you're going to speak to someone who's like, "Oh yeah, I really want to get with your mum." Even when when he goes when he goes. Nobody goes, no, man, no, man. I, I'm, that's for me. Why do you keep putting yourself in these? You're making too many jokes about shagging your own yeah. mother. <laughs> I think what we've learned from this is Alex would shag his mum if he had the chance. She's not really, like, out there looking for a, a lover every day, right? Uh-huh, Jimmy, don't know about me. Oh. Uh. What the? I feel fucking ill. Can you imagine your mother saying that? Joey, Joey, which yeah. one's your mom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She really is. want me to point her out? She's pretty young. Are any of them going there for like an actual relationship? Surely not. They're like, they're 20. They're actually like, oh, if you're just going to sleep around with my mum, that's not going to happen, mate. But then, hang on, that implies if they don't want people to just like sleep around with their mum, they're like, I want you to be my fucking stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss my dad. And I need you to fill the hole that he left. You've got to stay. Gabriel and I are both here. We wanted to take this adventure. I, I can't. Just, oh my can you Lord. stop and just let me talk? I, I'm my own person. But can you stop interrupting me? Bit of sexual tension there. Mm, I think they fuck at Christmas. Why is young blood getting so annoyed at his mum? <laughs> <laughs> mum, fucking shut up. <laughs> We get the text that we're gonna be staying in the same bedroom. My mom and I were really close, but dating lives are very separate. So did you hear that? They're staying in the same. Whoa, 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 whoa! They're staying in the same bedroom, no matter if they. So there's two beds in oh, one bedroom. What? Yes. So there's two beds in one bedroom. Even, even. So let's say the, the young guy brings a milf back. They have to shag in front of their mom. No. And if the mom brings a young guy back, they shag in front of their son. Just go on fucking hinge, man. It's genuinely insane. It gets post nut clarity. That'd be the worst post nut clarity <laughs> ever. <laughs> He's like. Oh, fuck. Oh. We have our first challenge. The moms get a blindfold. They have to go up and touch all of the young men and figure out which one is their son. The two ah, moms. Ah. Oh, mate, it's so old. What the fuck? This is insane.
kind of hot. Let's just say that it is, they, they, this is real, right? And they didn't know about this beforehand. They can't just then go, oh, but you signed the contract, so you do have to touch your son now and sleep in the same room as he's shagging. <laughs> so, like, you could surely be able to pull out at this point and be like, yeah, I don't know. I would never be. pull out, George. Not an Alex's mother. This whole video from now on is just going to be about Alex <laughs> shagging his mum. It's one of those. He did it himself. Literally. <laughs> All right. Fuck off. I just hope she doesn't go below the waist whenever she's groping these guys because <laughs> that that will be out of line. At our age, like when you're in your twenties, like you can get bricked up at the simplest <laughs> of things. Like yeah, a girl can give you a hug and you should get bricked up. If I'm standing there topless and I've got and I know a bunch of milfs are touching my chest, I'm getting bricked up at the thought of it. Especially when it's your own mother, Arthur. Arthur, so theoretically, you would get a boner. Huh? If your mum touched you, if she had a blindfold on. <laughs> do they do it the other way about, but they have to squeeze the mummy's boobies? There's so much going on. I can't process all this information at once. So mummy's in the house. If I pick Joey, hopefully I don't pick him first. Because then, yeah, we'll have a nice room, but it's like, I kind of want more than that. How are you meant to know what your son feels like? Should you know that? No. No. Has your mum never touched you before? I mean, she could feel his tattoos. But like Braille. Yeah, they are 3D, to be fair. I have never experienced something like this. I fucking hope not. Well, yeah, fucking of course, mate. Joey? It's my son. Ah, oh, you oh, want oh, 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 I wanted you to be my son. What does that mean? If somebody picked my mother up like that. Sigmund Freud would be rolling his grave at this. Who? The man who came up with that whole thing about everybody wants to fuck their own parents. Have you not seen that study? Yeah, of course you've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> he was the subject of the study. <coughs> nice pics. Nice traps. She could be seeing that about uh, her son. Don't compliment them. Touching it's, it's bad enough. But as soon as you just start going, oh, I like this part of your body and this one. <laughs> oh, well, this is really good. Then... It just could be your son. It could be your fucking son. My boy. This feel like my child. Okay, I'm gonna say yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice. You should be proud. I don't know if it's a good thing if you guessed right. I mean, I guess I guess it could be somewhat obvious because you should know the sort of somewhat shape in terms of how broad they are and yeah, height wise. Cock length. Me and Jose train every day at my studio, so this is really easy for me. This is Jose. <laughs> Wow, respect. Bit too easy. Jose, set up a camera in that room, baby. These give me the energy, like, you know that daughter-son relationship where it, like, they're not obviously shagging, but they're just, they, it's that mm. weird kind of, that, that have a little bit of attraction to each other. Like they bathe together. And yeah. yeah. What? She rubs her foot on his thigh when they eat dinner at the table. What the, the fuck? Table. <laughs> Very specific. This is your dad. Ma, you are got to be joking. You know what room we're in. Imagine being the third wheel for your mom. <laughs> oh, wait, I just got a message. Where are you? Ma! If Joey continues to cock block me. No, he's got to stay and watch. She just said cock block. The producers force him into the room. <laughs> <laughs> now go on, look. Look. He's going to ruin the experience for me. Come yeah. up there, come up there. I think I'm just going to go to sleep. No. Oh my God. You got to be joking. Just chill I think they're all quite waved now, you know. It yeah. sounds like they've had a lot to drink. That might just be the way she speaks. She's getting on. Nah, they, they're all slurring their words a lot. And it's been quite extra. I think they're all steaming. If I was Joey, I think I'd drown myself. Really not trying to sleep in here with uh, Ryan on the other bed. <laughs> I'm just telling you to make sure you're up in time to go to the gym. Right, room, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm cock blocking my mom. He's already he acted like a dad. Oh my god, I don't like it. Bright and early, let's rock and roll. You got practice tomorrow morning, son. Oh. <laughs> Truly, at some point, someone's just got to batter someone. <laughs> I hope so. I genuinely think this man's gonna need therapy. This would have a lasting effect on me. One man of great taste. I'm a very big feet person. Paula has these feet that I just wanna like oil up and lather and just massage and just get wanna real gobble warm on them. And paint her toenails maybe a color and like suck the acrylic off them toes. Suck the acrylic off! Fuck yeah. Lewis Buckin thought he was being funny, but I just wanna suck him. Just wanna gobble on them. That's literally what he just said. That is literally, he, just, he said that. He just actually said that. Suck the acrylic off. Do you know how specific that is? Do you know how hard you have to suck to get the acrylic off as well? Do you? I can hazard a guess. I don't need the experience to know that toenail polish or whatever it's called won't come off without a good hard sucking. It'll need a bit of teeth, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, just scrape it off. <laughs> Take the eight in your car. Or oh, do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I really would love to get to know you and go on a paddle boarding date, maybe if you're like interested. Yes, I'm not... that's cool. Okay, Let's do it. Thanks. Yeah. Make sure you bring your feet. I tie rocks to my feet. 
Make it a bit harder to suck the acrylic off then. I was comfortable being, you know, on top of her. It's really fun doing the airplane on the board with Jimmy. And I used to do that with Jose when he was smaller. I love to do that with kids, so... That's a weird whoa, thing to whoa, say. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's weird to bond over an activity you used to do with your son. <laughs> yeah. You're good, but you should see my son. You're nothing like Jose. Who do I think will hook up first? Not me, because everyone hates me. Kelly, last night, she was all over Ryan. Now she's after Jose. It's a little much. Like, this isn't a game show. She's hot, though. Like, she is. And if, Jesus, and Alex, we get it. You like this one. Plot twist, that's actually Alex's mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hola! I get the fantasy suite tonight. You don't. <laughs> what I see and what I feel, she's really wild. Whether she likes it or not, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to take my man home. And that is the end of the first episode. That is insane. That was magical. Uh, <laughs> That's what you said to your mum, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wow.